are back at the North Cemetery in Gundagai to do another video. I am here today with Ghostly Findings Paranormal. Her link will be in the description below. Please go check her out. My name is Julie and I am Unearthly Wanderings. Last time I was here, I had a lot of angst and a lot of sadness over the fact that a lot of headstones here are falling apart. And even though the grounds are well kept, the monuments aren't. I have a website that I am piecing together that is dedicated to the cemeteries over Australia. So if you would be interested in checking that out, you can see the link below. Just keep in mind that the website is still under construction. Let's have a look around, see what we get from this place today. So we're going to take a wander around and just have a look, have a feel, check out a few of the monuments that we didn't get to see last time. If you guys see anything, if you hear anything, please let me know in the comments below. It's so sad. I can't Complete respect. I only wish to speak to the human entities which were once living and are now in spirit if you'd like to speak with me you may step forward and talk into this device in my hand which is a phone it records your voice and image so i can play it back and i can hear and see you if you show yourself so if you'd like to do that you can go ahead and show me Edward, Sweet, uh, Edward Smith and Bridget Maria, 1891. Actually, both of them went in 1891. It's so sad. There's Jackie up there talking, probably going to do a spirit box session. Please make sure you go over and check her out. We're trying to get her to 1K and so far she has reached, I think, 774. So let's see how far we can get her, guys. Let's show her what this amazing community can do when we work together. School bell's still going off even though it's school holidays. Thomas Alfred, 1887. Native of Illawarra. Catherine Paslow, 1911. Michael Burke, 1891, and Margaret Burke, 187. Okay, Charlotte's behind me, and I just heard over here, it sounded like a psst. Don't know if you guys caught that. Can you repeat that for me, please, so I can hear it again? If you all look, if you remember, Rusconi is buried here, Frank Rusconi. And there's Charlotte. 
And this one here is another Rusconi headstone. Isn't that beautiful? I believe Jackie's just doing her spirit box still. I want to see what this stone is here. Oh, okay. A couple of the people that perished in the flood. May they rest in peace. That was so sad. Let's go down here. Look at that sky. Told you I had a thing about skies. I wanna to go to this angel. I have a thing about angels. So let's go visit her. Elizabeth McElligot and John McElligot, 1912 and 1915. May you both be at peace. Can either one of you come through and say hello, say your name? All right, guys, um, you know, they say that you can communicate with spirits anywhere. You don't have to be at a cemetery. This is just all for um, visual purposes. So we're gonna do a spirit session with the S-Box while we walk over to um, next door where Jackie is. S-Box. Captain e Moonlight. FM. Is there anyone here with us in spirit? Would you like to come through and talk to me, please? Anyone that was a human that is now in the spirit world? Can you say hello for me? What colour I'm wearing today? Thank you, my darling. Tell me the name of the child that I am with.
Can you tell me my name? If you do not wish to Good speak stuff. to me, can you say goodbye? Charlie, come on. All right, I'm going to turn this off for now. Thank you for speaking with me. Goodbye. It's just like I wasn't getting anything come through there. <laughs> All right, guys, we are now next door to the section we just were. So this is still classified as an North Gundagai. It's just that it's uh, divided due to the wall. Perhaps they had to extend it. I mean, it kind of makes you wonder as well whether you're walking on a whole heap of people here that just didn't have headstones. I might stop somewhere and pull the rods out. You know, even a walk through these places sometimes, it's still nice, I think, to keep their memory alive and to remember them, even if it's only coming in here, reading their name or visiting their the burial site. So many have been here for so long that there's no one living that knew them and so people don't, you know, come and see them anymore. So look at this one. 1871. This is beautiful. I'll stop here and uh, we'll do a rod session. Thank you, darling. All right, so we're doing a uh, rod session right now. If there's anyone here in spirit with me, can you point to where Jackie is, please? They're kind of going that way. Keep going. There we go. They're going that way. There we are, thank you. I think that's the first real response I've had. All right, let's try this again. If there is anyone here in spirit with me, can you please cross the rods? Can you cross the rods for me, please? It, it's weird, you can almost feel like someone pushing them sometimes. Just a bit further. Thank you. Okay, someone here wants to talk. If you are a female, can you cross the rods for me? If you are a male, can you point the rods behind me? Let's try that again. If you're a female, can you cross the rods? If you're a male, can you point behind me?
nothing. You know what else I find strange? The fact that there's hardly any wind here. There's a small breeze. You can see my hair's not even moving. And yet the camera is swaying backward and forward. All right, guys, we are off again. It is starting to rain. Go out. They need the wipers. Need the windscreen wipers. <laughs> Go out. Go over and check out Jackie from Ghostly Findings Paranormal. And until next time, we will see you guys later. Bye. Bye-bye.